hello everyone today i'm going to explain about docker architecture and uh, going to show the demo and real time as well as let's go on to next slide and before we used to launch uh, um, web application in the servers using uh, servers and we need to install a host OS and the hyper version inside the hyper version <coughs> we use a separate uh, vmware each vmware occupies a lot of uh, ram and uh, cpus we need to uh, mention which is taking a lot of uh, data storage and the docker technology comes and it reduces this uh, size of the storage and the high performance of the application as well as i will show you what does it means actually that why vm and the docker okay if you compare this both of them in in one system i have installed vmware in vmware we can install multiple os like here i installed ubuntu and for example this one may be um, windows windows so for the ubuntu when we are installing we need to give the ram at least uh, 4 gb ram and the uh, uh, storage space at this study and we don't use actually that much uh, space uh, so it takes a lot of space and we need to mention each uh, vm libraries and uh, so when move on to docker technology it doesn't need separate guest os it just need a ho uh, on the server layer we just need to install any host service on the top of the host service we will be installing a docker which means a docker engine on the top of the docker engine we will create a number of containers each container has uh, has shares his libraries uh, for the application and i'll show you the demo of this uh, docker for example this is my server in the server i installed sent os which means the host os so uh, what does it mean docker engine i'll show you docker so when we when we install docker we can check the status of the docker which is in active state nothing but docker engine on the top i can have a containers i will show you the containers list of containers which already i have done some of the demo okay so i don't right now i don't have any of the containers available and we can pull any images from the docker hub can so i'll show you the demo we'll take uh, nexus image for example go for Jenkins and this is a docker hub uh, is a local repository to store the images and uh, anyone can use the docker images so I'm going to pull the docker image here just give docker pull Jenkins
okay meantime we'll go to the next slide uh, here it says docker architecture okay okay uh, in docker architecture there are three parts the first part we have to look into the client side the client nothing but the dom the server terminal which is used to, to connect with docker host okay for example this is my uh, server terminal just imagine this is my server terminal and docker host is nothing but docker inside the um, terminal so you can see here the docker already which is installed as docker host which is nothing but docker daemon inside the docker host we install the docker daemon we can check the status of the docker daemon which is running when if we want to connect with the docker daemon we need to use the terminal which is this terminal okay from docker daemon we can take we are just now i pulled jenkins image from repository repository is nothing but docker hub just now i showed you after pulling docker image uh, fr from the docker repository we can we can check the image which is here i'm telling this image okay let's check the docker image command will be docker images you can see here it pull the docker image the latest one okay and uh, after pulling the docker image we can create n number of containers okay i'll show you how to create containers sorry we need to assign the port for the jenkins is already used it says okay we'll move to like 81 in the right side this 8080 is the <coughs> container port and this is an external one 8081 let's queue next yeah now it's proceeding sometimes okay so we'll recap one more time so the client which is the uh, terminal the server terminal okay from the ter server terminal we can uh, connect with the docker daemon which is installed inside the docker host okay we can through the client terminal we can use the commands like docker build docker build uh, which will create the uh, build for the image and docker pull when we try to pull image from um, docker registry we use docker pull command docker run and when you go to docker daemon it's a it's a main thing every every request and response handled by docker daemon which uh, which is like a heavyweight uh, operation when you request um, docker pull it docker daemon responds the pull request to uh, re registry docker registry and it will display the docker image once we get the docker image we can create n number of containers and um, docker registry we have a lot of uh, registries we can use a private one if you are using aws you can go for i think ecs okay mm, let's go back and check whether installation is completed yeah you can see here jenkins is fully up and running okay now we 
can check docker ps in this command shows uh, sorry the spelling is wrong this command shows the running containers because it won't show because I terminated here you can see when I press ctrl c it says setting down the this tone so if you want check uh, stop the containers you give con docker ps iPhone a you can see here 36 seconds ago the container is stopped so like we can create we can see this blue color box which is containers with the image we can create n number of containers we created here okay let's move on to next one so next slide okay here this is another thing um, you saw before server docker daemon okay and you know client docker cli which is nothing but client cli means this client docker daemon this um this this slide says how this both are interacting with each other through the rest api okay i hope every everyone got understood let's move on to next one okay the docker uh, I'll, sh I'll take an example and explain you better understanding docker image file 